Hello everyone, it is officially the holiday season and I'm here at the Paramus Park Mall to do a pop-up immersive experience known as the Christmas House. Now, I've never done one of these before. Um, you go through room by room and there's just different set pieces, all kinds of cool stuff. One in particular caught my attention though. They've recreated a blockbuster video store. That's sure to be awesome. So let's go check it out, come with me. So here we have it, the Christmas house, and it looks like it's in an old Abercrombie & Fitch store. Let's go check this out. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Alrighty, so the first room is a beach scene, and here we have Santa wearing a Hawaiian shirt, holding a lei, and that's a lot of fun here. And look at these, these chairs, these old school beach chairs. I had those growing up, I think we all did so we can celebrate Christmas on the beach. What a lovely scene here. We have some palm trees with Christmas lights on it. And, uh, oh, look at that, we have a, a surfing Santa. How about that? So they actually have real sand on the floor here. I'd hate to have to clean that up at the end of the day. I bet they have to uh, sweep this path every once in a while. And I guess over here, there's a the table set up if you wanna play uh, Beer pong. Okay, so this next scene is Hogwarts Christmas from Harry Potter. Let's look at all the stuff we have here. We have some magic wands and we have Harry Potter's signature glasses. Kind of a little castle scene here. And what do we have here? We have a, an upside down castle with snow blowing past it. So I gotta confess something to you guys. I've never seen Harry Potter, never read the books, never watched the movies. I don't know the first thing about it. So if you're a Harry Potter fan, don't kill me for not knowing what I'm looking at. And it looks like there's a treasure chest. Let's see what's inside. Maybe something will pop out of me like it does at Ripley's. Oh, look at that. It's full of gold and jewels and treasure. Maybe I'll uh, take a handful for myself. I think that might put me on Santa's naughty list though. So we have this little guy. I do know his name, he's uh, Dobby. Am I right? I, I don't know anything else about him. Uh, sorry, Harry Potter fans. I don't mean to disappoint you guys. And here we have all kinds of cool, magical accoutrements, all kinds of different herbs and potions used for spell casting. Very cool stuff. Oh, and look at these floating candles. That's really cool. I really like that. That would be cool to hang up in your house. Okay, so here we have Santa's workshop, and this is one of those um, optical illusion mind trick things. Let's go try this out and see if I can get this to work right. And so it looks like this room is a movie screening room with these great lawn chairs. I guess you can sit and watch the movie Elf if you'd like to. Uh, I don't have time to sit and watch the whole movie as much as I'd like to, so we're gonna keep going. But let's take a look at Santa Claus right here. So I have to be a dead retail nerd here and show you some of the uh, old features of the Abercrombie. You know I just can't help myself. So let's take a little behind the scenes peek at the old Abercrombie and Fitch. We can still see some of the old uh, display areas back there. And here's a spot where you can get your picture taken next to Buddy himself. And you can write yourself a letter to Santa and mail it to the North Pole. So you can put your name on the naughty or nice list. Let's see. I wanna put my name on the naughty list because I've been going into some places I shouldn't be, all kinds of uh, abandoned buildings and things like that. I've, I've been bad. Oh, and check this out. We have a map, a radar map, showing where Santa's going. We can see him flying around right there. It looks like he just hit Alaska. And he's got 
all 50 states covered. Everybody's got their presence this year. And here we go. Blockbuster video. It's back. Just for today. We're back at Blockbuster Video. Let's take a look at some of the movies we can see here at this Blockbuster. Oh, we have some Christmas classics. We have It's a Wonderful Life. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. We have Miracle on 34th Street. We have Elf. Great one. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. I don't think I've ever seen that. That looks really funny. We have White Christmas. Rudolph, classic movie right there. Oh, and one of my favorite movies of all time, Jurassic Park. We have Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Frosty. Jingle all the way. And look at this. This is actually a real blockbuster case. Look at that. That's awesome. What else do we have here? We have Muppet, Chris, Muppet Family Christmas, not Christmas Carol. And a couple, a couple more good movies down here. Oh my goodness, Three Ninjas. Who remembers that one? Rocky loves Emily. Rocky loves Emily. And let's see what else we have. We have Clint Eastwood, Hang 'em High. Definitely not a happy Christmas movie. Three Men and a Baby. There's a ghost in that movie. We have Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. I had this movie on tape as a kid, and I watched it over and over and over again. And here's another one that I had, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That's a really creepy movie, but in a good way. Crocodile Dundee. That's classic. Rescuers Down Under. I, th these are all movies I had when I was a kid. I watched this one a lot. This is a really good, underrated uh, Disney movie right here. Just look at all these great movies that we all grew up watching. Wayne's World, Nutty Professor. Oh, this takes me back. Oh, and what else do we have? We have Kangaroo Jack, Jumanji. Oh, it wouldn't be Christmas without Christmas Vacation. And here we have Home Alone. One of my absolute favorite Christmas movies. One of my favorite movies in general. I, I watch this every Christmas. I could probably recite to you the whole script by heart if I tried. Here we have my boy Kevin. And so it looks like they're playing Home Alone on the screen here. Definitely one of my favorite Christmas movies. Let me know what your favorite Christmas movie is in the comments down below. Is it Home Alone or is it something else? Look at this, they even have Blockbuster gift cards. Where did they get these from? That's amazing. So I'm pretty sure that this desk here is the old checkout counter from when this was an Abercrombie and Fitch. I miss Blockbuster so much. I miss just the experience of going to the rental store and just walking around and looking at all the covers of all the tapes and stuff and taking one home for the weekend and just, it just, I miss that so much. And I, I think anybody who experienced that misses it as much. I know we have streaming now and we can just get whatever movie we want whenever we want, but I, I don't know, that kind of takes some of the fun out of it, I think. Let's see what's next. Looks like we're in the living room on Christmas. What a cozy little scene this is. Oh, let's look at some of these pictures. Here we have the Griswolds. Look at that. <laughs> and this is the, um, the family from It's a Wonderful Life. I don't remember their name. And what's over here? We have the family from A Christmas Story with little Ralphie and the whole gang. And of course we have the family from Home Alone. Oh, that's so cool. I don't think that was actually in the movie, but that's the whole cast, look at that. No way, no way. Is this an actual Turbo Man toy from Jingle All The Way? I didn't realize they actually made these. That's an actual Turbo Man toy. Now, if you've ever seen the movie, 
the, tur the Turbo Man toy is central to the plot. It's kind of like the, uh, the hot Christmas toy that everybody's trying to get and nobody can get their hands on. I didn't know that they actually made real ones. That's amazing. Look at that. Buzz, your girlfriend. Woof. So look at this. We have Ralphie's bunny costume from Christmas Story. Wonder where they found that. Okay, so look at this. We have the spaghetti with chocolate sauce and maple syrup, which is Buddy the Elf's favorite snack from the movie Elf. I don't think I'd like that too much myself. A little, a little too much sugar. And of course we have the famous leg lamp from Christmas Story. Seems like everybody has one of those in their window around Christmas time nowadays. <laughs> and here we have Buddy the Elf himself peeking out of the curtains like a like a psycho. And let's walk through here. Oh, it looks like it's a light tunnel. Oh, this is so pretty. Just look at all these lights. It's Christmas, it's the, the season of lights. And you can see this goober holding the camera. What a lovely display here. And what's through here? So this is sort of like a like a Christmas yard scene where you would uh, set up your Christmas lights outside. Look at that, we have a big yard inflatable. That seems to be the new hot thing, you know? And when I was growing up, it was Christmas lights, Christmas displays, now it's all inflatables. Gotta have the most and biggest inflatables on your block. And it looks like we have a little house here. Maybe we can go inside? Let's see what's inside here. Okay, I, I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. <laughs> Oops. Alrighty, what's going on here? Oh, it's Nightmare Before Christmas. We have Jack Skellington, and he's actually moving. Look at that. That's crazy. Look at his, oh, it's co so cool. That's a projection. And we have his big, creepy skeleton hands right here. And over here, of course, we have Sally. And this really cool tree with Jack Skellington lights on it. Look at this. We have actual real snow. It feels just like Christmas. Well, that was certainly a lot of fun. I really like places like this that are just sort of these little pop up immersive experiences sort of made for social media people, but um, I had a lot of fun doing it. And seeing a blockbuster really took me back, you know, just reminded me of the days when I would go pick out a video and, and it would be a Friday night, it'd be something you'd get really excited for. And just seeing all those like um, fun setups for old Christmas movies, it was just really fun and nostalgic. So I wanna wish everybody a happy and safe holiday season. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.